I'm here in my car. I'm going to try this scene here. I like how it's really neat how the sky is whiter. It's like the whitest part of the scene almost, except for this little area there. Um, I don't have a lot of time, maybe only an hour. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do this in my car. Bang it out. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be a pretty monochromatic scene. So I'm just going to start with the darks. <clears throat> and then work to the midtones and then the highlight. I'm going to leave the highest highlights until the very end. Actually, I'm, I might just leave them white of the canvas. As you can see, my brushes are dirty, my palette is dirty, <clears throat> but everything is still wet because I keep this kit in the car and in the winter, it's the equivalent of putting everything in the freezer. So it just stays wet, which is quite convenient. So sorry, I thought I was just recording that whole thing, <laughs> and I wasn't. How many times has that happened? I could also have a whole blooper reel where I just film my chin. Because I think I've turned it off when I really have turned it on. Oh, I think what I was saying when I thought I was filming, and I wasn't, was that I have to ration my white, because that's all I have. I don't have my white tubes. Womp womp. So... Gotta make it last. This is one way of doing that. I want to get this like tunnel effect, sort of like a tunnel and through these icy trees. I don't know, it's a building, I don't know if I'm going to put that in there. It's not exactly aesthetically pleasing. Wiping this out will make it easier to put the white on, so I don't have to do as many layers. This is really hard because there are so many just little details that I could get lost in, but it's hard to know which ones to edit out. So I think it's especially helpful to use a big brush. And I think it's just going to be a lot of going back and forth of like adding little highlights, adding darks. I want a lot of the focus to be right here. So I'm, I'm going to try to have these edges here more defined, crisp and defined, especially where this edge, the edge of this copes of trees meets the the 
emptiness back there. Last in the heat. Woo. Once the windows start fogging up, it becomes a problem. And I'm just like blurring my eyes as much as I can so that it's all just a beautiful haze. And then just sort of try not to think too hard and woo. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. I'm just going to take some pure white here. We're going to go in for these sky holes. I think that will help define some of what is going on here. It's really hard. What I like about this brush is that the marks are just so erratic a lot of times, just in the way it holds paint or does not. Um, and so then it's just like, what is, it makes a lot of interesting marks that I don't think I could make consciously. Um, and it's pretty stiff too, so when it, when I turn little corners with it, it sort of spring. It's springy, and that also makes weird little marks that I would not have made consciously. Hmm. I think I have to do something here. To stop this edge right here. Put that in. I'm not going to... This is not the focus over here. You just ignore that. <laughs> Nothing to see over here. Nothing to see here. I think I don't even have to do add anything if I just cut cut some shapes out with the white. I'm going to pretend this is a woodland meadow. And then the other whitest part. I'm actually going to add a little yellow. Oh, too much yellow. Oh, dear, dear. A little teeny bit. Okay, there we go. The other lightest part is over here.
didn't make that little squiggle. No, maybe not sky over there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Sky for you. While you weren't looking. Jennifer went in there and ruined this area. <laughs> She's sneaky like that. So now I have to fix it. Thanks a lot, Jennifer. There's so much subtlety of color in these grays. Like if you want to see a living master of subtlety of grace, go check out Thomas Holtz. Probably butchering that, I'm sorry. His snow scenes are what I aspire to. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, oh, stop this, stop this, stop it now. Make it stop, make it stop. Make it stop. Pum. That shape, this little shape right there, is not something I like. Okay. Oh. Oh. Don't think. Don't think. Oh. What? Just be like, whoop, what? Get in there and just ruin it and mess it up, mess it, mess it. Okay. This line here, I have to resolve this line. And then I need to stop. Because I am ruining it. Dun, 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 dun. Watch me ruin my painting that I worked so hard on. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! She's ruining it! Do, 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 do. She's ruining it! Do, do. She's doing what she said she wouldn't do! My new show, Ruining a Painting, opens off Broadway this March. I hope you will go see it. Thank you for your support. Okay, well, I don't love that area over there, but I do. I have to stop. What time is it? I have to stop. It's time to stop. But, 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 no. No, what? You have to stop now. You did your best, and that is good enough. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.